this one is a basic uh, setup in here and right now there's something brand new in here and that's something called a help style and right now the help looks a little different than what comes from Microsoft in 2013 um, there is a, a way to actually make this one look exactly what comes from Microsoft in here and to do that one you have to go to something that is called uh, a help add-on first or an add-on code in here and I'll create one that is just called perform in here the type of help in here is again in here and I can go to the card for this one a lot of these things in here um, that are added before and after is uh, all fixed as it is right now but as soon as I create an add-on it allows me to make that all editable in here and a lot of these texts are actually related to language and many other things in here so if you're trying to do online help in a different language you have to go through these ones and figure out which one you want to change and which language is supposed to be if it's a table you don't want to have a table you want to have the German name for that one for example in there and things like that one and here's a whole long thing the other thing is you can also add a footer and all kinds of other things in here um, inside this one also and on every uh, help token I can get this one so I can say okay okay I want to have copyright um, 2013.com for example so I can do this one in this case you actually write regular online help so I can do um, like a uh, regular HTML code down here that uh, like the other one is in here so uh, I have this uh, help add-on and I'm actually going to change my help add-on um, for all these ones to use my new one in here I'm also going to do the same for my FAQ and I'm going to put my help add-on code in here also on this one and then I want to change my help style to 2013 in here with 2013 there actually is links and there's images and certain things that needs to be uh, added in here so in my source folder I need to copy something that is uh, shipped with the merge tool in here so I have this folder in here called local and let's extract that one in here and there's some bitmaps and things like that one in here that is being used in help so let's go copy that one oh, I'll just cut it actually let's, uh, and move it into my online help my source folder paste it in here and I should now be able to generate 2013 style help in here so when I now export uh, HTML and other files If I now go look at my online help, it looks very different now. Uh, I also have an ability to actually, um, it will create content menu. It will uh, still have the index as before, but it now has uh, both my FAQ up here, but it also has my index and things like that one. And uh, as I open up the online help, if I look at it here, it shows my tables up here but I maybe want to do a different uh, default topic in here and I can actually go in and take my FAQ and I actually need to um, internally it's going to be called FAQ install in here so if I close my online help so I can update it with the compiler it now shows my install document as a default one I have all the content and everything this help will also work for 2013 because the references is a little different my footer down here has been added and that footer is by the way on everything so I only put it once in here and think like that one so this one the online help here with all the help add-on and think like that one there's a lot of things you can do with this one in here but it's a very powerful thing and the whole idea is that you separate the content from uh, the layout and all the other pieces and if Microsoft in 2014 or next version whatever it's going to be change the whole concept of online help 
all you have to do is just get the latest version of the merge tool and you're reducing all the content you wrote before actually. So, yeah. There is one last thing in here and it's actually an ability to track how many times a help is used in here. So if I go look at help tokens, I can see number of uh, reference or number of hits out here. And this one is based on importing a web server log. So I can go in and it support both Windows uh, Internet Information Server and it support Apache in here. And I'll just go in, point at the directory, select the type, and then basically go down here and say import web server log at that point. Um, to track these ones, you need to create an image. And uh, right now, I don't have any image included in my file in here. But if I went in and say, uh, I want to have a product logo, and I want to include it in each of my uh, individual pieces in here, I can go and say, okay, let's uh, let's go here to products and find a image here. I don't really care. So so I'll go and save. Uh, no, that's not a good one because I use that somewhere else. I'll just uh, create a small one in here. So uh, I'll just create one with paint. Write some text here. Save this one in my uh, merge tool folder. And say my product logo file name is uh, this one out here. Um, my address where I'm going to put that in is um, somewhere on a website where I'm going to have an object number or an add-in code, an object number, and an individual file in here. So let's just say, okay, this one is htv.com.merge2.com. Present this one, present this two, present this three in here. So this one is the default one but actually each individual help add-on can also have a product logo. So I'm going to use the same one for both of them in here, um, but I could go ahead and have a different logo on each of them in here. So as I now go create my online help, I have this option to say skip copying files, and that's actually what it will do in here. It runs a new batch program, it copies some files, and uh, oh, uh, I need to add in underscore A up here. There's some, uh, it seems like there's a slight bug here in how it actually uh, tried to create these folders. So in this, inside this add-in A folder, there is now a folder by object, and there is that little image copy. And that means in my web server log, I'll be able to track the uses of each individual ones of these files in here now. And that basically gives me the ability uh, to do that one. So you don't want to have a huge image in here, but you can have a small file like this one. It's one kilobyte, so it's not that big a deal downloading many times. And down here, I will have in each online help, I have a unique reference uh, to go to that location and read that um, 
little image that is there, and that's a key to tracking the usage. You don't know who did it, you just know that somebody actually read the online help. And you do that one by simply adding this one. And, and you, of course, need to have a um, web server where you can put that information on uh, before you can see it like this one. But this one concludes uh, the part about the online help. There's a lot of functions in here uh, to do um, more things. Also, the FAQ can actually also be generating web pages. So if you go to merchtool.com site, for example, the same online help that gets created is also getting created as web pages in here, and um, you're reusing the content to do both things at the same time, uh, for example.